completely and, other side of the world facing each other. And this is the this is the Elite Eight. This is a round of eight. So it was completely random how these guys got got pitted against against one another. I mean, Crispy Co, you know, Crispy Co is is seed number 17 in the tournament, even though there's only 16 people in the tournament. And the way that that happened was uh, one person from the original 16 couldn't make it. And so then we, we went to the alternate list and Crispy Co was on that alternate list. So imagine all of the different, you know, levers and, and pulleys that had to be moved in order for these two guys to end up face to face in this tournament. Instructors versus instructor. So cool. Right. So butterfly cool. effect yeah so i feel like we are in the right place and uh i'm excited to see what happens next in this match so i hope you guys are all excited chadwick and crispy co get ready we're not going to do a fake start this time we're going to do it right this time so get ready good luck and this next cad battle between our inventor instructor chadwick and our solidworks instructor crispy co begins in three two one Go! What is the mass of this part in XXX grams? What is the mass of this part in Ooh. XXX grams? This is plain carbon steel, 7,800 kilograms per cubic meter. This is a tier five part. And both of our runners are grabbing a screen capture and both of our runners have started. So let's flip over to this CAD versus CAD battle. And here we go. I like this part. This part, I, I, I would love ripping this out. Yeah. You know, I will... Uh... I'll, I'll I'll give it a, a whirl after I'm give done. Give it a whirl, here. make a video, you know. Yeah, yeah, this part is cool. I like this part. I, I I think I could get this done pretty quick. Yeah, this is one that you know has some some pretty neat features in it. Um, it's one that we've seen in the tournaments before in the past, but I don't think either of these guys have ever uh, modeled this in a tournament. You know, so if they're if they're digging deep into the archives, maybe they had a chance. But of course, the models always change, you know, whether it's dimensions that are changing or, or materials that are changing or adding or removing features. Um, it's never exactly the same. But uh, Dern in the chat says this is a really cool part. Very tricky, though. Yep, there's that is the truth. There's some there's some interesting stuff happening with this part, especially with regards to the uh, the rear section of this part. There's kind of a. It's not it's not everything you're just seeing on the front. There's something kind of tricky going on in the back with the, the rear boss having like a, you know, slightly wider wall thickness um, in order to match that center bore. So pretty cool part here. And both of our runners are starting out in a similar way, starting out with that sketch on the front plane and creating that initial extrusion and then going in with their uh, kind of center bore. It looks like Chadwick opted to shell this thing right off the bat. So we ended up seeing kind of a thinner model there. Um, I wasn't sure if Crispy Co did that as well with that cut extrude. We're gonna have to wait till he rotates the model around to see it. Pretty impressed with Crispy Co's uh, comfort level with multi-body design. That that rib solution in the last model was it showed somebody who really understands how multi-body design works in SolidWorks. Totally, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's a huge advantage if you have that uh, way of thinking. Yeah. You can do a lot more things. Yeah, you just overlap parts and then just bullying them together at the end. Correct. All right, we got the the main bit of geometry here. From Chris Chadwick is looking really good here. Looks like what is what is Chadwick doing here? I can't quite tell. Okay, I see. He's uh, creating the protrusion here, little hub here. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah, you have this uh, this model that's mostly you know mostly five millimeter wall thickness, just a, a little bit of a uh, a little bit of deviation in that rear circular section, so I think that's going to be what um, is is the most interesting of how they how they end up dealing with that. Yeah, it's one yeah. of these cool one of these cool plastic parts where you have like different faces that are, are intended to come together and form one kind of smooth result. So this yeah, it is... looks like they're both just about the same. We've got Chadwick adding the extra kind of spot face. Reverse spot face, if you will. The yeah. Boss here, I guess you would Look call at it. Crispy Co. using a move face to accomplish yes, that. Yes, move very, face in the house. Very, very interesting. Yeah, that was very, very clever. Yeah. Yeah, move face just always feels good. You know, it just, it just, it feels good. It feels yeah. right. Yeah, feels right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. What is going on here? All right, I see we got uh, just some fits and starts here with that little feature here. Yeah. On Chadwick's side. 
And Crispy Co looking like he's uh he's feeling he's feeling confident. He looks like he's gonna be trying to create uh, the start of these ribs here. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna see what he comes up with for this geometry, how he comes up with this geometry. Uh, it's it's interesting because it's kind of like it's related to the center lines, it's related to the edges of the model, it's related to the center of the model. So uh, it's it's kind of a tricky tricky little feature here. The gist of those ribs mm -hmm. is that they're supposed to be ten millimeters wide, and that's kind of like the you know for everybody watching at home, that's kind of the gist of yeah. those ribs. But beyond that, it's up to our runners to kind of decipher the print. Yeah, yeah. You want to have the part be lightened to a certain state, but you still want plastic to be able to flow through, you know, those mm -hmm. ribs there, you know, and those spokes coming out. So, yep. At least when it yeah. was plastic. And actually, this version of it is metal, but this one's metal. Yeah, okay. but it was, right. you can tell originally it was a plastic part. <clears throat> Just change the material for this tournament. Nice, nice. <clears throat> Well, nothing wrong with having a nice piece of machined uh, <laughs> aluminum or whatever it's going to be nice. here holding whatever this is yeah, going to hold. Exactly. Nice machined spool holder. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this... Uh, there we go. Sketching. I like the way uh, Chris did that uh, fill it on the sketch there. Just, you know, window selected everything. Yep. And uh, well, now we got mirror going on. Yeah. You know, getting that symmetry going in. Yeah, Chris is flying, and uh, Chadwick is right behind him. If Chris messes up anything, then Chadwick is going to move him for the kill, I think. Uh, yeah. Chadwick really is just kind of right behind him, creating this other geometry. And, hmm. That was, Chris, this is a little out of whack Interesting here. result there. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Something went wrong so, with yeah. the, uh, the, the fixture holding the part as he was machining it or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Somebody, <laughs> somebody drove the forklift truck a little too close to it and knocked it all out of, out of square. <laughs> M-L-O-L-O-L-0 is saying, interesting content on YouTube. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Thank you. Nice. Appreciate that. It is interesting. You don't get to see this every day. No, no, no. You got to go into some of the, the deeper corners of YouTube. Okay, and so we see, it looks like Crispy Co. may be coming in with an answer here. We're going to see what happens. I saw him bring up the property manager. Mm. I'm not seeing anything coming in through the chat. Hopefully the chat. Perhaps there's some checking going okay, on Okay, there it is. Crispy Co. coming in with an answer. And his answer is 740 grams and Tracy Chadwick coming in with an answer it looked to me about two seconds after. Wow, that was close. Wow, come on. 740 grams is correct. Wow. Wow, my come goodness. On. Good grief. Man, Crispy Co. Really eking that one out. Come on. That was a photo wow. finish. Two different runners from two different parts of the world using two different CAD softwares, both of them instructors. What a finish. Super, super impressive from both of our runners. That was just awesome, man. So close. I, I can't believe that. I, I can't believe what I just saw. So close, man. They just both absolutely crushed. Inventor is super.